Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to use CycleBuddy. I'll walk you through the user interface, and then show you how you can use it to quickly animate cycles in space. The Analyze Rig button analyzes and stores data locally to map the controls of any rig. This enables the Flip and Mirror tool to work. You select any control of your character and click Analyze. It is highly recommended that your character rig is in the default pose when you do this. The Selection Set button. Right-click to see options relating to the two types of selections. The first type is just a regular selection set that you can use to store your character controls to help out with your animation. The second type is called Displacement Controls, and here you need to add the controls that are going to be used to displace your character in space. The Get Step Distance button. When you pose your character in the contact pose, or whatever pose you use to determine how far the character will move, you can click and then shift select the foot controls to get the distance. The distance will then appear on the button. The frame offset field represents the offset value that's used to determine at which frame the displaced pose will be created. For example, in a 24 FPS walk cycle, you would set this to 12. So that means, if your starting contact pose is at frame 0, this will create the next contact pose at frame 12. Displace. This uses the stored displacement controls, the step distance, and the frame offset to move your character at the right frame. Right-clicking opens additional options for the Displace in Place feature. This allows you to store your global control, which will be counter-animated to create the appearance of an in-place walk cycle, simplifying your workflow. The Flip and Mirror button works only after the rig has been analyzed. It lets you mirror a single control or flip multiple controls at the same time. For example, if you pose your right arm and mirror it, the same pose applies to the left arm. If you have different poses for each side, flipping swaps the left and right poses. Fix. I have intentionally broken the rotate X to show you how this works. Notice, rotating on X and clicking mirror makes it rotate the wrong way. To fix it, simply select the Rotate X channel and click Fix. Now, the mirror should work as intended. Moving on to the demo part of our video, I've already taken the liberty of creating a contact pose. Now that you've done your contact pose, the first thing you need to do is select the controls that are going to be displaced. So in this case, the left and right uh, foot controls and the body control. Shift select all of them, right click on selection set and add displacement controls. Next thing is getting the step distance. So click the step distance button, shift select the left and right foot and that's it. You can see the value added there. Because we're making a 24 frames per second walk cycle, that means that our second contact pose is going to be at frame 12. Therefore, we need to set the frame offset to 12. And that's about it. Now you just select everything, keyframe, click displace, flip and mirror, click displace again, and flip and mirror again. That essentially creates the perfect mathematical displaced walk cycle. Now for the passing position, I've already taken the liberty of creating another passing position, so I'm going to paste in that. And once you're done doing the passing position, you displace it again and flip and mirror it. Same goes for the down position. Work on that, displace, flip and mirror, and we're doing the same for the up. So put in the up, displace, flip and mirror. So now we've created the perfect walk cycle in space. I've set the animated curves to cycle with offset in the graph editor. So now, if we scale the timeline to, let's say, frame 500, you can see that the character just walks smoothly. There's no uh, offsetting, weird offsetting of the root or the legs uh, as they displace forward. Yeah, there you have it, and thanks for watching.